Welcome to another episode of Conversations. Today we have Nicole King and she is the owner of Cosmo Contour Med Spa. Is it just a med spa or what do you call it? Cosmo Contour? We call it a medical gym med spa. Okay. So there are so many things that I want to know. Um, infrared is kind of a big, de big deal right now. Like it's, it's, I'm seeing it come up more and more and ashamed to say, I see things like on TikTok, you know, all about the infrared things that people are using on their faces and stuff like that. So what exactly does infrared lighting do? Well, so it's interesting you say that for the face. So there's infrared and there's red light and red light is being used a little more on the skin for the exterior, you know, surface. And we're, we're reaching into a thermal approach. So we're getting uh, into your lymphatic system uh, with a thermal approach, much like infrared saunas where, you know, we're going into your, into you thermally. So that it still is great for your skin. It's still another wonderful um, benefit. But the, the bigger benefits, why we say medical gym is because now we're taking a regular treadmill and, and you're walking in a pod and you're burning three times more calories than regular. And we're getting into, you know, the circulation, the healing of your muscles, your joints, it goes into the brain, the mind, because now, just like when you were sitting in an infrared sauna, you were sitting burning 600 calories. Now you're actually moving, you're actually walking. And we're not saying you have to run, but yet just move, whether you're in our treadmill, our bike, our elliptical rower, whatever, we're getting that infrared um, light into your, into your system. Yeah. So I saw, um, the news story that you did just recent and the newscaster was on from Fox 11 or whatever. She was on the equipment and she was asking like all the questions that I was wondering, like how hot does it get? And does it mean that you do it half the time? Like, do you just do the treadmill for 15 minutes instead of a half an hour? Cause you're getting double the benefits or how does it work? You know, you could, but what happens is um, people get addicted, meaning they're looking at the calorie burn and instead of it was supposed to be a 30 minute session that you're leaving with, you know, let's just say minimum 600 calories burned. But now sometimes people want to do it twice or they're just it's it's like um, kind of an addiction where people are getting so zoned in on the calories that mm -hmm. um, that's not that's not really the right thing you don't have to do. But if you want to do we we actually invite people in for a good hour and they jump around. So they might start off with the treadmill and for 30 minutes and then do the bike for 30 minutes and then maybe the roller for another, um, you know, 15 minutes to roll out your legs on the body roller. Some people can spend a good 30 minutes just on the infrared body roller um there are the body roller we were not the first so i will add that for any of the people that say well wait she's not the first in for a gym mm -hmm. we are the first in for a gym we weren't the first with the roller okay the roller has been around um i do know my competitor in that and that's fine that's not what we're only focusing on so there are some places that um are have the roller and they do it as a class and by the way they're charging like fifty dollars for that class just with the roller we're charging 35 dollars, and you're able to mix all of that in so wow. our, our price is great um and when i say med spa it's because we started with um all of the body sculpting with medical grade devices and there's so many machines that i don't want to you know, bore you with every one of them, but, <laughs> but there's many and we don't like people to get, how do you say, overwhelmed by, well, which device do I use? It's more that you come in, you do your body sculpting consultation with us and we create a program for you. We're going to do a four week, a seven week or 10 week program. Um, and they're designed much like sizes. So if you're a small, we're going to do four week program. If you're medium, we're going to oh. do seven. And if you're large, we're going to do a 10. And what that's going to do is that's going to work on your inches. That's going to be, you know, your waistline. Now we're focusing on inches 
where the gym is what I like to call the second step, really. It's releasing everything that we're doing in that room with the body sculpting. And we're helping you. We're saying your job now is drink a lot of water mm -hmm. and we're going to help you release. We're going to help you get all that bad stuff out. We're going to get the toxins out with, you know, our infrared equipment. Um, so it's step one and step two. And then the bonus would be if you just want to maybe go sit in the sauna, the infrared sauna as the end, maybe you don't want to work out. The The main thing is our dripping seas all over. It, they're, they're dripping because it's either fat or sweat, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's our mode. That's our motive in this is to make sure that you're releasing because many of us go hit iron in the gym. We do yoga, we do Pilates, but you can't get into the body like mm. our stuff. So we're helping you. We're not telling you don't go to Equinox, don't go to, you know, Pilates yoga. We're saying do all of that, but this is in addition to, this is your add-on. This is your, um, if you can see us even once a week with our infrared um, as an add-on, I'm happy. Now, if, if, if you could do more, great. Um, now body sculpting is done only once per week. So, um, that once per week is through that period of time that I just named the mm -hmm. four, seven, or 10. Uh, so people are able to travel a little farther distance to come see us as a body sculpting specialist, mm -hmm. um, which makes it cool because we see people from all over and, mm -hmm. and now that we have been on actually selling sunset, we went national, um, now we're seeing people from really all over the world, which Jeez. is super, super cool. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. And I'm sure it's awesome for you to see it explode like that. Um, on the news channel, you talked about the lymphatic system and I've had a couple of episodes about the lymphatic system that were just so eye opening. I think people just don't know enough about it or don't realize exactly what it does. It was very in for a little bit to do the gua sha and all that stuff, but it's all over. And um so what sciency, what what is happening with the infrared to your lymphatic system? What is it doing? Well it's a healer. Um the 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 best way I can say is if you look at um I would say fun little little things is like if you just googled on amazon infrared lights it's funny to watch that you'll see like reptiles being healed and recovered with infrared lights mm -hmm. so um, it's it's not anything that new it's just that we're we're actually a little behind like europe is uh 10 okay. years ahead of us on all this um the equipment does come from europe so they are ahead However, when I got my contract to represent them in the U.S., um, I will say when L.A. does something, it, it explodes everywhere. So even for them. Mm -hmm. So even though it was designed, they didn't start getting like their load of, we'll say, all over, whether it's Australia or, or I'm sorry, um, France or Switzerland or Italy or on and on and on and on. Um when we do it here in LA, I will say it kind of alerts the whole, the whole world um, because we are in the lion's den of beauty and we mm -hmm. are known for beauty. So we helped um, even Europe quite a bit over the last five years. Um, we started with it in 20, like 2019, but didn't really kind of touch on it until 2020. And then we got hit with COVID. So we had to pause yeah. and it really was, um, devastating to me because it was like, I wanted to just go, go, go and open facilities all, all over. And I got, you know, held back. Um, right. um, but what we did was we had a small, uh, 1000 square foot, um, location to start. And we were kind of test testing them with people in a, sm you know, small setting due to the, the COVID and pandemic. Um, so it gave me a lot of test time mm -hmm. and I will say that even now our next generations are already coming out that people aren't seeing yet, um, that I'm excited to see like next models that will be, we'll say in our Cosmo 2.0 locations, the next 
levels. Gosh. <laughs> Fun, fun stuff when you can, um, on one hand, it's hard to pioneer something new because now it's like, oh, you know, someone could say, oh, it's just red light or it's just, what's that light just, you know, just beaming on me. They don't understand it. And, and that's the hard, that's the hard one to, um, sell we'll say, because yeah. if, if you don't really understand what it's doing internally to your body. Um, I do suggest uh, Tony Robbins wrote a book on infrared. And I think that um, the more you can really study up on what it does, the more you'll appreciate coming to Cosmo. <laughs> yeah, that would right. Yeah. Well, I think it's just because there's so many trends and fads. So people are just yeah. like, oh, look, it's got lights around it. You know, big deal. Not realizing yeah. that there is a lot of science and study and research about it. So did you actually go to Europe and see the equipment at play so you could get an idea of like what you wanted to bring into your place? That's a really good question. No one's asked me. And I, <laughs> I, I, I am going to have fun with this answer because, um, I literally put my belief into it without being able to go there and see it and try it. And I put a lot of money into my, I, I've now opened three locations and literally had never gone to Europe to try it and test it. Um, and I say that why it's funny because I'll have very, um, I'll have celebrity clients that, um, could afford it way beyond me, my level. <laughs> I literally put my life savings into this wow. goalie and um, I'll have really wealthy clients just being very skeptical. And they're like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, I bet my life on it. And it's, it's been a, um, you know, a hard, we'll say three years for me um, financially to get this thing going because I'm not the big guys. I'm not, you know, I literally, took that gamble when I just wanted to be the first, honestly, I, I was like, I have to do this. I have to be the first. Um, because one day, even if I, even if the big guys come along the way, I, I, I just wanted to know that I, I accomplished something that I believe in so much. Right. Yeah. The pioneer. Yeah. I love yeah. that. That's so <laughs> awesome. So you do have a lot of celebrities and then, um, uh, professional athletes, are they like wanting to, where'd you get this? I want to buy one for my house kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have sold to, um, athletes, um, again, not to the level that I would think. Um, I, I, I kind of straight out, um, asked a couple that like, I couldn't understand why they weren't pulling the trigger and like being like more, into buying this mm -hmm. and I think there's there's still like I said there's still some skeptical feelings behind sure. like really work and um the thing that I can only the only thing I could ever say is you need to come try it you need mm -hmm. to with the way that um so that you can see and feel it um but you know these rollers they they sell for like 7500 and I think Okay, we all know what a, a fascia blaster, the fascia mm -hmm. blaster, or some of these things that are the handholds that are sold for very cheap, or wood therapy, the old mm -hmm. fashioned way to do the wood therapy. And it's like, okay, so you don't have to, I, I understand that, that sounds like a lot of money to many, and that, that is true. And that's why you come to a location. Mm -hmm. However, other wealthy people, that's a purse for some of these ladies. Yeah. And I right. feel like, you know, they're spending it on purses. And yet when they'll question that, I'm just like, I don't understand because you could be sitting by your TV and, you know, having this roller do all the work on your body. It's tightening. It's, it's, it's toning your skin, you know, because of the, the movement it's helping tightness. It's helping circulation, mm -hmm. cellulite. Um, so those people that sit at the desk all day, now you're getting that circulation to move. So right. I find that a little like, uh, I don't know. I, again, I think it's just, again, being the pioneer and having to um, get it to the right people. Yeah. Okay. I feel really dumb for asking this. I don't know what a body roller is. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, yeah. That's what, okay. what exactly is it? So, what is it? So, 
our body rollers, they look like an ottoman where you are, I mean, I I did this call on my um phone, but like you can kind of see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wow. I love all seeing all those machines. I'm so glad I made you get up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we have cool. people who are, so we'll have people who are using it for their stomach, their arms. Um, we'll have people that are using it for their legs and cellulite. Um, so hopefully that little visual helps. No, you. that definitely helped. And for people that are just listening, it's like a knobby roller spindle thing and you just put your <laughs> your body against it. I have never seen anything like that. That is fascinating. How long do they lean up against that? Well, so that could be, that's what I was saying. There's places that will do classes just okay. on that machine. And um, you know, as I was describing like an ottoman, you know, you, you know, you just happen to see ladies who are using it for their stomach or their arms. Right. right. Um, there's all these different positions that we would show. Okay. So maybe if you're doing it just to, for your legs, mm -hmm. it might be 15 minute, you know, session. Um, but if you're doing a full body, you might spend 30 minutes sure. easily. And so that's just circulation. Does it help with cellulite too? Like do people oh, use yeah. it for that? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So on their back, they're going to have it at a lower you know, mm -hmm. speed, but so not hitting your spine so hard, but if it's on the legs, um, the best way I can describe is like those, um, the fascia blasters or the right. wood therapy, um, believe it or not back in, I think in 1930, some women might have said, Oh, I've seen my grandmother, you know, with machines like this, or back in the old, old days, yes. um, there were these things that looked like that, but they, they were designed a little differently and they really just kind of rolled your body and shook it up and moved you mm -hmm. around. And, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, that one is not as new as some of our other equipment, um, as far as design and concept. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's fascinating. My husband, he rides a recumbent bicycle. And so uh, yeah. when, the, when the news reporter was there and she got in that, I immediately was like showing yes. my husband, I'm like, look at this thing, but yes. it does look like so new age and spacey. Yes. And, um, it's so cool to see it and see people on it and think, gosh, that's crazy. What all that light is doing. I wonder why, why Tony Robbins, why did he get into it? I don't, that's a good question. I, I, I haven't been able to, uh, yeah, I, I haven't found out why he wrote the book on it, but I mean, he could just, well, number one, I'm sure he saw dollar signs with his book, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 to, but to come out with a whole, um, you know, a topic, like I'm saying that isn't being talked about. Yeah. I, I can't imagine that's why he tapped into it. Right. Um, but I can't say a hundred percent. Well, and another thing I want to want, I wonder is why is it that Europe is so advanced and ahead of us? Why, what is it? Where's the, what is the missing piece? You want my opinion? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I just believe we, we are Western society. We want to, we're, we're, we want to fix things after instead of be preventative. So, you know, Western pharmaceutical world will say right it's like okay. we're all about we're all about let's we'll give you a pill now that you're sick we'll we'll, we'll, we'll repair we'll cut we'll we'll surgery we'll whatever whatever yes. um, after but we have not been talking preventative like you know asia or like europe mm -hmm. um really doing that now i will say there seems to be a movement that we're starting this um, something very big that a lot of people don't know yet. And, you know, these are chances to be voices right now is that you can actually add active and fit onto your insurance policies. So that means we all have this option now. It started in July and you just, but what's happening is I bet your, your agent or you're not researching it. Yeah. Like, like, 
like us all. And we don't realize that now then your health insurance is actually saying, okay, we're going to help. Let's, let's help get you, um, preventative health, like proactive. Yes. Yes. So, um, I would suggest, um, people look into that. And I think we also are on a, on a, uh, another thing that we do in house is we have a little juice bar and we're, we're working on the inside out with, you know, healthy greens and, um, healthy shots. And I, I'm sure anyone who's into the health scene knows that you should be doing all these things, right? It's your mm-hmm. food workout. It's, it's inside out is our, right. is our slogan. So you said you have three locations in L I know you have locations also in Miami, but do you have three in LA or where are they at? So we started in Warner center, which is like Canoga Park, Woodland Hills by the mall, the Westfield Topanga mall. That was our small little starter space. Um, and then we did studio city as number two and Miami number three. And, um, the, the Warner center right now is temporarily closed and we, because we outgrew it Mm -hmm. and we were debating to do some construction there and reopen it. However, it's looking like, and I don't want to, don't quote me on this, but we're going to reopen either in, uh, Woodland Hills or Calabasas, which will be, you know, very, very close to where we're located, um, in that parameter. And Mm -hmm. when we reopen it will be um bigger and better um than the first one that's exciting are you seeing are getting a lot of phone calls from people that are all over the u.s that are like okay give me give me the scoop on these machines how do i get one what do they do so that they can start carrying them another great question um that i'm what gives me hope is honestly the traction um, from our starting from our Instagram of like the DMs of you know where what you know come to Texas come to New York come mm-hmm. to wherever wherever and you know just the positive movement there um, was fascinating to me and so when you then the next uh, inquiry will be how can I can is it a franchise can I you know buy into mm-hmm. it. And I, we're not a legal franchise yet, but what we're starting being so new, when I say we, Cosmo and I, um, we are working on first some joint venture approach so that we can find people who have skin in the game in their own state. Um, while I'm still doing all of the, the tweaking and fine tuning of all the new um, elements of what what's still to come. Like people can't see, I have two other divisions that I can't wait to launch. So uh, the, the the fun of this is that who sees it from ground zero and gets aboard, I think is a rewarding, you know, factor here. And so if we find those uh, joint venture partners in these states, we will have enough babies, you know, or I say enough of my own babies will say, and then we'll frame <laughs> <laughs> what's your demographic like what is it um mostly women women and men both what's the breakdown mostly women um and I find that number one I designed this for myself I'll, I'll be honest um <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's my heaven it's my it's my little um you know paradise uh, to to enjoy myself and I know that now women are understanding what I mean by that and that's that number one, I don't have a lot of time to Mm -hmm. work out. And number two, I personally care about everything from the lighting to the scent to, you know, like not being too crowded, not having too many people in a place. So it's designed to, I I come from an interior design background. Oh, Um, okay. So it looks neat. (laughs) (laughs) Might I add that I um, worked with the hotel industry for 25 years. So um, for me, everything needed to be a feeling, you know, as well, like a Las Vegas hotel, mm-hmm. you know, people go there 
not just because they're gamblers or, you know, alcoholics or drinkers or whatever, right. you know, they're, they're, um, they're going there for a, a feeling, you know, it's the ambiance. And so I took that part of my history and said, you know what, everything from the scent to the lighting to biohacking, the process is what I stand for because that's me. Yeah. So <laughs> that's awesome. So so hopefully I answered what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, well, it definitely makes it your baby then, like you said. Is it set up so that there's like the exercise part of it on one side and then the other side for people that are doing more um... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shots or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. So it is. So it's, um, we have in Miami, we have four four rooms, four operatory rooms. And in, um, in LA, we have two. Um, but in LA, we have infrared sauna rooms on top of it. We're, uh, infrared sauna is more popular in LA. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, and also in being Miami was my, my, well, third time going around, I, I got to learn what was used more. And yeah, that would be interesting too. Yeah, yeah. We have way more um, treadmill pods there because they are the most popular. So in Miami, we have like seven of the pods because they're um, the most popular. And so, you know, it's just kind of some learning phases here. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I would think New York City would want to get in on that and Arizona, yeah. too, because Arizona yeah. seems like it's a lot of people that are so because everybody's outside all the time, you know, and in New York, you besides walking, they probably could use some of that stuff. Oh, it's so interesting. I'm excited for you. I think this is just groundbreaking. It's awesome. And I don't even work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like I, I, I hate working out, so I love, but I love doing this. And the difference is, like I said, it's a feeling that I can't describe until you've done it because it's, it makes your endorphins just come to life. It makes your skin look better. It makes you just feel like you're really getting a detox that um, you just can't do on typical equipment. Um, one more thing to add on that when you go to a regular gym and you get on a treadmill or a bike and what you said with your husband riding a bike, he would know this or anyone could, could follow this is that your body feels a little cold and clunky and stiff. And it takes you some time to get your body warmed up. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you follow me in this and, 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 and what I'm trying to say is that if we're getting you warmed up quick, Right. So where you're now less tense, more relaxed. It's actually not a hard thing. So maybe some could be saying, "Well, wait. Now it's hot, and and I'm I'm supposed to ride." Well, it's actually easier because now your body's relaxed. The muscles are released or are are more relaxed. It's not as tense and tight. And by the way, then your head is out. So you're not you're not like feeling claustrophobic or I can't breathe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But maybe some have gone to a um, uh, infrared Pilates or yoga class or whatever, where they have the heaters all on the ceiling. Right. Well, that, that's not, that's really just like a heater heating up the room. Hot yoga is just heat. It's heating the room. This is actually so close to your body mm -hmm. that you're, it's going right into the areas that are needed. So your, your brain, your head is out. So you're able to kind of take on a little more of that. In other words. Yeah. Well, I know you said you had people like on a four, six or eight week program like that, but is it, do they have a membership? Is that how it works? You get a membership like you do for a gym? So good question. So body sculpting is programmed because we're, we don't, we're using um, radio frequency or EMS uh, muscle fiber development we're using laser, we're using a lot of things that can only be done a limited time. So body sculpting has a different program design to it, where the gym could be used, you know, every day if you wanted to. So to answer you, we have different programs for the medical gym. It's a um, either a membership, or we sell them by the bundles. 
So they can start at $35 if you want to just come in and do a one hour um, session, or you can pay $150 for five, $250 for 10, $450 for 20, which are good for a year. Or you can get on a, a real monthly subscription if you feel like you're living in the area and you're gonna come a lot more. So there's, there's um, and to tell you the body sculpting packages range from about 1400 to 4,000 um, because we are more compared to what a lot of people say, oh, pool sculpting. Well, okay, pool sculpting was 20 year old, you know, technology and we're using things that I believe, well, they are number one, all FDA approved. Number two, if you're if you don't go home and um, do the right things, let's say drink a lot of water, eat the mm -hmm. right foods, or your body doesn't release, we're not freezing your fat to make it lumpy and hard. We're we're actually I, I say think of putting a piece of meat on the fire. We're gonna liquidate it so that it helps you. And let's say you go home and you eat a cake and you don't do what you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have a problem because it's just, it just won't give you you know a positive outcome but you're not going to have an issue where I won't name others but I will just say that you know our process is a lot you know safe and effective mm -hmm. for all all types yeah interesting how did you go from hotel and design to what you're doing <laughs> Um, well, number one, I could say it in a fun way is that when you're renovating a project, um, it, you take something that's, you know, kind of worn out needs, needs an update, a facelift, um, a new look, um, to where I look at it from the body, like a renovation in a sense of, you know, you go from, you know, seeing women that maybe need to lose anywhere from 10 to 40 pounds. And um, it's, it's a, it's a very happy feeling for me when I see people happy. So I think to answer you, um, beauty and design to me really go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, if I have to pick two uh, loves, it's going to be you know, designing these places. And that's why I want to franchise because I literally have so much fun designing them and then handing somebody a key and say, here, you know, so yeah. from the body happiness to see people happy and like, oh my God, I could never achieve this on my own to, um, they, they cross over. They're really transferable is the best way I can say it. Yeah. Super rewarding. And to mm -hmm. see, you know, people come in at the beginning and then to see them six weeks later and, and just that such a big difference. I love befores and afters. That's like one of my favorite yeah. things. Yeah. I think we all do, but that's such a cool thing to see. And like you said, just see them be so happy that they, yeah. that they did it. That's awesome. And your daughter's in it with you too. You guys own those yeah. together. Well, she went to college to be in PR and um, entertainment. And the funny thing was when the pandemic hit and she had just gotten out of school and just was starting to work in a place and all of her world came crumbling yeah. down, um, especially in entertainment. Well, we all had a hit, right. but um, that was for sure frozen. And uh, so she came to work for me and it ended up, it was supposed to be a part-time, you know, thing to where she never wanted to look back. And, you know, now she gets to see that she could actually use all of her, mm -hmm. her training and skills. It's, it's, it's actually making a family business stronger. And I'm so happy to have her that she's, um, I call, I mean, she's 29 now. So I, she's old enough to wear, she's being molded. She's bringing an asset to the table. So it's a win-win for me. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And I loved it how you said earlier that COVID everything shutting down was devastating, but it gave you time to do research. You know, yeah. we, there were some, there were some positives that came out of things shutting down, you know, obviously not all the deaths and sickness and all that stuff. But I think a lot of people did soul searching on, do I want to go back to this job that I'm at? Or, you know, what do I want to do? And so I'm glad that it gave you time to research so you could really make it your own and make it exactly how you wanted it to be. That's awesome. 
Yeah, yeah. You have to take a negative to a positive, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, Nicole, tell people how they can find you, like online, on your social media. Sure. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. It's always my first go-to because we'll show on our story daily, you know, videos of what's going on in, in behind the scenes where people will share live testimonies, um, showing, talking, whatever. Um, that's number one. So that's Cosmo Contour, all one word. And or our website is CosmoContourSpa.com, which um, we're, we're working on improving the website all the time. We'll keep trying to add <laughs> more and more elements there. Um, but yeah, Instagram's always your, you know, easier, how do you say, way to keep updating constantly. And so do you have all the machines and everything on your Instagram so people can kind of look and see yeah. what you guys yeah that's awesome people yeah. go look because it's crazy yeah. they're so yeah. neat I love it it's so innovative and the technology is amazing so I'm anxious to see what happens yeah yeah and for anyone that you know says um I don't believe in shortcuts um ask yourself you know we use shortcuts every day from you now are able to run your business on your cell phone. You used to have to sit at your desk to use an email or deposit a check, you know, from now you can do it from your phone or get your food delivered to your house. Or, I mean, this, it goes on and on. Our life is built on shortcuts. So, you know, from when people say that I'm now like, I, I, that doesn't make sense to me because we're, we're an innovative, you know, world where we're constantly evolving and there will be a day, I believe, that body sculpting is going to do better than uh, liposuction. So, you know, if I say, you know, if, if anyone questions shortcuts, I, I'm just, I'm all about shortcuts. So I'll leave it at that because I know that's one of a question is I'm not sure, I'm skeptical. Okay, well, you, you know, you, I've watched this equipment and body sculpting world improve over five years. Mm -hmm. I've watched it before my eyes. So, you know, before you question something, try it because I'm sure whoever first used their business uh, on their phone probably never thought they could run a whole, you know, fax machine on your phone, you know, you're scanning, blah, blah, blah. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's not, you're not cheating the system. You're still doing the work. It's just cutting That's the right. time in half. It's not going under the knife. <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. I don't think that's a shortcut at all. I think it's just innovative and, and we don't want Europe to beat us people. So <laughs> let's catch up here. <laughs> well, when we do it, we do it better. I'll say there's already things that um, we've been able to send back the reports to improve because one thing that when when we, especially I could say LA, we're very, you know, into, like I said, beauty. We have a lot of athletes. We have a lot of um, people who are very, very major, as you know. And I think that that's where our feedback and the two chemistries is is really a lethal weapon then. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, it was so nice to meet you. I'm so happy for you that you're getting to do this. I think it sounds amazing and, um, send me all your stuff so that I can make sure I get it all on the show notes and everything. And I'll be in touch when I'm going to air it so that we can get the info out there. Thank you for having me. Thank you, you bet. Hey, thank okay. you. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.